Los Angeles, 1997 is the hottest summer on record. Pollution is choking the city. The gangs control the streets. And as bad as things are, they're about to get worse. Much worse. Danny Glover, Gary Busey, Ruben Blades, Marika G. Alonso, Bill Paxton, Predator 2. He's in town within a few days to kill since Thanksgiving. I really love that show that Don LaFonte says on this movie. So, anyway, everyone, this is Massey once again, and I just review the first Predator film, which is a classic Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Really love that movie. Really earns an A plus in my book. If you have not seen it, check it out. I really recommend this movie. But the Blu-ray still sucks. But if you want to see a better quality, get the 4K disc. If you have a 4K Blu-ray player. I've already read this little Blu-ray when I did a review of the first movie, but now that's my mini rant again on this. But now moving on from Predator, the question is, how can you top, essentially, how can you top a Clyde Schwarzenegger movie when you're doing a sequel? The answer is, you don't. And here's why this is not as good as the first movie. So. Anyway, Predator 2 stars Danny Glover, Gary Busey, Ruben Blades, Maria Cajal Lasso, Bill Paxton, and of course you have Ken P. Hall returning as the Predator for one last time, which of course he sadly, unfortunately, passed away in 1991. And of course, Bill Paxton's in this movie, May He Rest in Peace, which is really sucks that he's no longer with us. And hopefully one day I'll get to review Twister one day. And of course, this movie has. Alan Adventure returning to do the music from the first movie. You have Stan Winston returning to designing the creature of the Predator, written by Jim and John Thomas, with producer Lawrence Gordon, Joel Silver, and John Davis. And of course, you have director Stephen Hopkins, who has done much of films like Judgment Night, The Ghost in the Darkness, Lost in Space, Race, The Life and Death of Pierce Sellers, and yes, he also directed the fifth Nightmare on Elm Street movie, The Dream Child. So he went from a Freddy Krueger movie to this movie. So, yeah. And like I said, I did say this before, um, how can you do a sequel to be about as good as the first one, but the answer is you don't. And I'm going to tell you why. And before I do that, here's the backstory. Arnold Schwarzenegger was originally going to do this movie. He really was going to do it, but he turned it down because he did not like the concept of the script for taking place in a city in L.A. So he ended up working with James Cameron on the second Terminator movie, which is really important to him. Which, of course, that's definitely like one of my criticisms of the film already, so I'll, you'll hear more about it. And, of course, uh, the film itself was originally going to get it in C-17 Rainy due to its graphic violence, but they had to cut it down a bit in order to maintain R. And, of course, um, for Bill Paxton, when he's in this movie, he was the first actor to be killed by an alien, a predator, and a terminator, if you think about it. And, of course, uh, toward the end of the movie, which, of course, this might be a spoiler here if you have not seen Predator 2, when Danny Glover's character gets into the Predator ship, he counters all the skull heads that the Predator has collected. And one of them is a skeleton head of an alien, which is a xenomorph, which is supposed to be a dreadnought to alien for his Predator comic series before a movie was actually made. And of course, Stephen Hawkins wanted to include that to show how many things that the Predator has hunted and killed. And when the film came out around Thanksgiving of 1990, the film itself was not well received by critics, but it did somewhat decently at the box office, right, making $30.6 million in conservative in our budget, but however, it was considered to be a disappointment. But as time moves on, it has gained a cult status by fans, but it has no Oscars or Razzie nominations whatsoever. So, I was introduced by this movie when I was watching the bonus features of the first Predator movie, and Shane Black says they did a sequel when they showed the poster of Predator 2, and I didn't know Predator got a sequel. And of course, I came across this trailer on 
a website called Video Detective, and I saw it, and it looked pretty intense, actually, and I was really curious about the sequel. And I watched it with my brother John on FX. It was like the TV edit version, because I call all the files and everything, as well as some of the cussing in the movie. And of course, time went on, I was able to get my own copy of the film on DVD, which is a two-disc set. And they expect to hear this much amount of cussing in the film, or this nudity of popping up, or as well as the violence. And back then, when I first saw it, I really loved the sequel. But at time went on, I was just like, yeah, you know, it's an okay sequel. It just not as good as the first one, and no learn all them. But I'm watching it right now, as I just watched this today after watching the first movie. I actually appreciate it a bit more than I usually ever give it credit for. So, I don't think Predator 2 is a bad sequel. Okay, I will admit, it's not as good as the first movie, but it's not that bad. And the story itself, I don't think it's really that engaging. It doesn't have as much of a great premise as the first movie does, which, of course, the first one was a light in the bottle. It had a really good concept of, oh, you have a group of soldiers who go into the jungle, and you have a creature from another world that they have never expected or ever witnessed before, and which makes the Predator quite mysterious. But, of course, when you have a sequel, they actually do expand it a bit more. So the Predator has more of a character development than any of the human characters from the first movie as well as the second movie, because they because the Predator is definitely the star of the film. And of course, Kevin Peter Hall does a really good job as the Predator, just like he did in the first movie. And like I said, the story is really not engaging, but it's actually not a bad idea. I don't think it's a bad story. You know, it's not as good as the first one's storyline, but it's not a bad one. And the characters according to like the first movie aren't really as three dimensional, but they're still likable. I don't mind Ruben Blaze. I don't mind Marika Jalasso. Bill Paxton, once again, may he rest in peace, is really a lot of fun, despite that he's ripping off his role from Aliens. And Gary Busey is a lot of fun. He actually is a really good human bad guy, because in the first Predator movie, there was no human bad guy. But this time, for Predator 2, it really does. So, and he really does have some really good lines in the movie, especially you have this one line I remember from the trailer. Other world life forms. Up. Uh, even alien. Iwo Jima, Cambodia, Beirut, drawn by heat and conflict. He's on safari. The lions, the tigers, the bears. Oh my. You're the lion. This is his jungle. Have a seat. Enjoy the show. This is history. And yet, of course, uh, Sidney Gay Arnold Schwarzenegger, which, of course, I would have liked it if he actually did do Predator 2 with Danny Glover. For which it would have been more interesting to see both Arnold and Dan Glover have a little banter together, which would have been something, but... But hey, if Arnold doesn't want to be in the sequel, that's fine, but it would have been interesting if he was in this movie. I mean, hey, even when I saw Predators, I would imagine Arnold was in the film, because... Doing a sequel to Predator, it's really hard to get Arnold on board. And I know that Arnold Schwarzenegger, of course... He was not a fan of this movie when he saw it, and he was also not a fan of the Andrea Brody one. Not a fan of Predator 2, and not a fan of Predators. But the Shane Black one, which I have not seen, which I won't see at any time soon, but I'll wait till it comes out on DVD or on demand, but... I wouldn't be surprised if Arnold disliked that sequel. Which I know, I read news that, that they did try to get Arnold to make a cameo on the Predator, but he turned down because it was too small. I mean... As much as I love Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'm pretty sure he's a nice guy, but can you just say yes to a Predator movie? Because I love you in the first Predator movie, so why can't you start in this, or Predators, or that Shane Black one? Please, Arnold, start in a Predator sequel already! But, I digress. But anyway, about Danny Glover, I know everyone has problems at Danny Glover being the star of the film, but... He could do action scenes quite well, especially in the Lisa Weapon movies. He doesn't do kung fu stuff or anything. He's just a man. And I think he does a really good job. I don't think it was that bad. I think he gave the best performance he's ever given in his career. And I actually do like his character very well. He's not Arnold Schwarzenegger, but it doesn't make him a bad hero. So, I actually love Danny Glover. So, yeah, and I thought the actors all did really well, just as much as they did with the first one. You know, they're not as highly as memorable as the characters from the first Predator movie, but I really enjoyed them very well. 
And I thought the edges needed are very well done. I thought the subway scene in the movie was definitely a very terrifying one, which I will admit that was actually really cool when I first saw it and very intense. Especially, I would be scared if if a predator was in the subway. It'll be all nothing but strobe light effects when you go by each light as you're in the subway. And I thought the last act in the movie was a lot of fun, as much as I liked the last act in the first Predator film. And the effects of chords are really good. Sure, yeah, there are some effects that don't hold up really well, as you know, some of the bad meta outlines in the movie. And I thought Steve Hopkins, he's no John McTurner, but he, he actually does a fine job of what he had to do. So I think it's fairly well directed. And I thought Stan Winston did a really good job with the creature design of the Predator. And yes, of course, Alan's a fishery. It just gets your blood pumping and going. It just made it more exciting and more tense. It's like, yeah. And of course, yeah, I will, man. There's also like a, an intentional funny moment in the movie, which is probably during the bathroom scene, which it is funny. For the series one, the Predator, they were pushing that needle through his chest when it makes that. Whoop. That one uh, just kind of makes me laugh. And you get some dumb moment like the scene in the movie where the Predator gets onto that building and then he just raises his staff. And then, of course, Lightning strikes him as of, I have the power! Which I said that's really over, pretty over the top, actually. Which, of course, it's a movie. I'm not saying Predator is realistic, but come on. But, of course, I do like the style of the movie, which, of course, it sort of has a bit of that comic book feel to it, like when you see the Predator on top of the Gargoyle, you know, and all that. But, yeah, this movie is like a comic book, if you think about it. And the atmosphere is fine for what it is. It's not as highly as... as with atmosphere against the first movie, but, but it's not that bad. But I don't know what else I can say about Predator 2, but... It's not that bad of a film. I mean, if you're expecting like the first movie, you are probably are not going to like it. But if you're up to see something new and different, then I think you'll get a kick out of it. Sure, yeah, it's different from the first movie, but it's not a bad film. It's not as good as the first movie, but it's not a bad film. Overall, prior to, for what it is, it's good entertainment. I'm giving that movie a B-. minus. Not as good as the first movie, but it's not a bad film either. So, I just say, give another chance. And don't be hard on Danny Glover. And don't be hard on the concept about not having Arnold in it and not taking place in the jungle. But, it's just not a bad film. Just give it a chance. And take it for what it is. Whether you like it or hate it. So, so that concludes my review of the first two Predator movies. I would love to review Predators, but for right now, I just think the first two were, I got is good enough. So, Predators will be reviewed sometime down the road, and then the Predator, I'll just have to wait for it. So, yeah. So, that's Predator 1 and 2, and I hope you enjoy my reviews of those films, and let me know what you think of them. And also, what do you think of my review of Predator 2? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Feel free to put your comments down below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So, thanks for watching, take care, and next up, I'm about to review a movie about The Night He Came Home. And that'll be my next review. Thank you, and good night.